It has been over a millennia since the birth of Rome. As the city grew from a collective to a republic and finally into an empire, its reach is vast and territory expansive. However, it all threatens to come undone by chaos inside and outside its borders. Civil war is not a strange occurrence to Rome, but the empire has grown too large for one man to fully govern it. This is Burning Empires. Are you into investing, but you've always been told to diversify your portfolio, find interesting things to invest in? Now, this video is sponsored by Masterworks, a very interesting company that came to me. I have to say that this is not financial advice. I know it's a little bit of a meme, but your investments can go up or can go down depending on what you choose. But if you're into fine art, Masterworks is the best way to get into it. The total wealth held in art is $1.7 trillion and it is well known as being a good appreciating asset in a lot of cases. But what if you have no idea how to get started investing in fine art or you don't even have the cash in order to buy a painting? Well, Masterworks is your way to get into that. You can buy and sell fractional shares in high value works of art or of course full pieces if you have the funds to put into it. Of course, as that art is sold, goes up or down, you will see that come back in the shares that you have bought. You see, the problem with stocks and shares when you buy into them it goes up and down so much according to inflation but fine art tends to hold its value way more than a lot of other things the art market performs better during periods of this inflation so it seems like most of the time is quite a safe bet now unfortunately places like masterwork have a waitlist to sign up but you're in luck because with my code down below, you can skip that waitlist and start investing to get an exclusive invite today. Once again, this is not financial advice. You may lose or gain money, but Masterworks is your way into finding new investment opportunities within fine art. So click the link in the description below. It's a historical toe conversion mod for Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord set in the year 375 CE, a hundred years before the fall of the Western Roman Empire. But back in July, it finally came out and I've actually got round to playing it now. There's so many awesome features of this and it is one of the coolest overhaul mods that Bannerlord has got so far. But the gameplay we have so far is the earliest of alphas. We have the Germanic tribes and we have Rome, of course. The troops are implemented. However, there will be a full custom map that will extend from Britannia to the Caspian Sea, encompassing much of the known world. That hasn't quite been implemented yet, so we're still playing on Carl Radia. Yet there'll be 24 major starting factions and 20 minor factions. Once again, we only have two so far. There'll be new quests, new historically accurate equipment, 50 plus companions, most of them his historical figures with unique backstories. More than this, there will be sea travel, naval exploration, something we haven't seen in Bannerlord yet, along with incredibly historically accurate troops and of course things like war elephants and mounts of the like. There will be a new historical campaign, following the journey of famous historical characters with unique quests and stories. There is so much more to come in Burning Empires, but hey, you guys want to see the gameplay, so Let's have a look at what these battles are really like. So here we are in the battle with the most basic of Rome's troops. These guys are the Roman Tiros. We've got the PDs as well. And they're pretty much your bog standard recruits. They look kind of cool. They look like they know what they're doing in battle. And I really don't fit in here. But there should be uh -huh, coming through the fields or the trees, I should say, the Germanic warriors. So we're gonna do as any good roman would do and form up shield walls it is guys shield walls it is let's get ready for this battle now as far as i can tell these guys don't have any throwing weapons on them at least not visibly so well, i mean we might find out when we actually get into the fight but uh, i guess only time will tell right lads be ready be ready now it doesn't get any cooler than this in this very gladiator opening style forest map I played this with some Romans before and it just fits perfectly. Almost like we're invading the Germanic tribes areas. They've got those awesome shields as well. Oh God, the clash is about to happen in the middle. Here we go, lads. Hold strong, hold forth. So I think we're probably going to hold our formation to see how that goes. It looks like the Germanic tribes are getting a lot of hits there. So let's try and push forward. They seem to be floating around the outside. I'll get my guys to charge in. This is 200 versus 200, so it's completely even just using the basic troops on both sides. But I think the Germanic tribes do have the upper hand. They do have some heavier armored guys. 
Now, of course, this is the Batanian side that has been translated into the Germanic tribes, but it looks like some of my Romans are getting some kills back. Oh, but they're retreating. Their morale has been broken by the Germanics. Oh, we've been pushed back. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. There's so many of them. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> Run away. So we are back this time in the desert. We've got some recruits still, but we've got some heavier guys, some pseudo comma detense, some other comma detense as well. Of course, this mod is based on later Rome, so you're going to be getting some of this sort of stuff, but they look absolutely awesome. Once again, let's put them in a shield wall formation, see how they fare there. Of course, it's probably going to be way more effective if the enemy has some archers, but I guess we'll see that in the future. Speaking of the enemies, oh, Jesus Christ. The Germanic forces are a little bit out of place here. It seems like they have now pushed us back into, well, I'm assuming our southern front. But they are also a lot stronger. Ironically, it looks like they have some kind of Roman looking sigils on their shields. Oh, the axes are coming in and no, they're just red and yellow starfishes. Hey ho, it is what it is. They have formed up though. Oh my God, the axes are coming in so much now. This is where the shield wall is going to hold in. Um, they look absolutely awesome marching towards our line here. I kind of really still feel out of place. Who's going to break first? It's time, lads. Let's get in there. Let's charge. Let's break their front line. See if we can do a bit better than last time. Oh my God, they get the first kill still. But our pseudo competent Tensei seem to be doing a fantastic job here of wiping up some of the front lines. But we are now starting to lose more and more. These axes are going to be deadly against our armor. That's what they're made for, punching through shields and getting to whatever juicy flesh is on the other side. But hey-ho, it looks like we're fighting, still standing strong, but our front line is curling round on this side. We need to really stick together, hold that front line. I say that as I break the formation. Okay, our right has fallen, and it looks like it's going to be the end for us already. This is not going well for Rome. I, I guess we are heading towards the last days of Rome, and we can very much tell that. Oh, I like your helmet, mate. You look awesome. So here we have it, our final level of Roman infantry. And my God, do they look the part. The Candidatus looking fantastic. We also have some other guys, some shielded lads. Oh my God, look at the designs on these. Oh, wow, they are awesome. So we've got some javelin lads at the front. They look to be, yeah, a little bit weaker armored, but hopefully they can toss some things in there. And over on the other side as well, we've got some heavier infantry, some jabs. But there's going to be a bigger force here. Oh, yes. And this is the heaviest of the Germanic tribe as well. We've got some champions in there. We've got some royal guards. And they are looking as vicious as usual. I don't know how the AI splits up those guys. Like who they've got at the back, who they've got at the front. I'm assuming there is some rhyme or reason. But it is Mountain Blade after all. So we could be all off with that. Let's get our guys in shield wall formation. Looking as beautiful as ever. Whatever's coming over that hill, men, is probably going to be pretty dangerous. So make sure you've got your best faces on. Have you noticed when you look away, it reloads in the capes and they just sort of swish up? Oh god, I should probably get behind the lines. Let me through! So the first javelins are starting to come in. Can we do any damage with that? I'm not entirely sure here. Oh god. I'm going to delegate command of our other lines so they can do what they need to do. Oh, look at this guy. I just took an axe to the arm because I was trying to look at this lad. He looks really cool. Okay, they are now forming up that way. Delegating command was not a good idea. It was actually a disaster. They've got some horseback guys. I didn't even know that. This doesn't seem fair. Oh, delegating command was a terrible idea. We should have flanked on the edge. We are starting to flank on the edge on this side, though. So hopefully that can start to turn the tide of the battle. We've taken a big hit to start with. But hopefully we can turn this around here. Everybody get in. Get in. Charge in. Push them back. Push them back. There's <laughs> so many deaths. I'm trying to make some difference on the back of the enemy line. We seem to be doing okay in the middle. Over on that side, oh, we are taking real beatings there. But on this side, we are really starting to come into our own. Okay, our right flank has pushed back. Our left flank has fallen. But it looks like they've done enough. Actually, it looks like the Germanic tribes are starting to rout. This is a fine <laughs> victory for Rome. Hell yes. Infantry, you are a thing of beauty. Oh, you really are. God damn it. However, it wouldn't be smart to say that infantry is the only turning force of these battles. These are the early Roman archers. We've got Fundators here. We've got Roman militia archers as well. We've got Venators, and they are looking so cool. There's some guys here that don't have anything. Oh, they're slingers. Oh, God, I thought they didn't have anything in their hands, but they've got slings. That is cool. Who have we got at the back here? Do we have some heavier lads? It looks like we do. Okay, Gaston is our leader. Roman militia archers is his little, his little archer posse. I'm excited to see how this goes from sort of a sideline perspective. I, I really do feel a bit out of place here. But 
Come on, let's not snooze on the Germanic tribes. I'm expecting them to actually do very well when it comes to archery. I'm not commanding this, by the way. I'm, I'm letting the AI do everything, just so I can see what they're all about. So our first archers are really starting to ping off. I'm assuming the slingers have less range, which is why they're getting a bit closer. But yep, slingers are starting to sling now. This is going to be very interesting. I'm actually going to get a bit closer because we can see... Yeah, the Germanic tribes, of course, have archers. They also should have some slingers there as well. Do their bit. I mean, they... guys, this is not how archery is supposed to get down. <laughs> We've already done the infantry fights, goddammit. Why are you still doing this? You're ruining everything for me. But hey, how as archers are supposed to be, let's put them in a loose formation before the Germanic tribes gets here. We can show you a little bit of what we have now. This is the upper end of the Roman archers. We have the Roman Sagittitius. Uh, oh. Is that Sagittar Sagittarius? Right, okay. I got and of course, at the back, we have the Roman Sagittarius Palantinus. These guys are uh, uh, the, the Palantine archers. Uh, they've just kind of been remodeled. But they should be good, right? Okay, well, they're kind of getting slightly ready. They're preparing their bows. They know something's coming on the horizon. I, it's the capes. Every time you look at them, you can sort of just make a cool dance. <laughs> Every time they load back in. I'm actually going to do a little bit of running forth to see what's going on with the Germanic lads up here. Because these are the chosen ones of the Germanic forces, and they should be pretty tough as well. Germanic archers doing their thing. Yep, they are going to be pretty powerful. I don't think they're going to beat my guys. My guys seem to just have way more armor. We've got Germanic rangers as well. Oh, those are goddamn rangers. But they are no match for my Roman Sagittiuses. They are doing a fantastic job of beating down these lads. They just have better armor. And of course probably better bows i don't know about the training i don't know what germanic training school is like any germans down in the comments let me know uh, but you're being destroyed it is a sad day to be a german a, an ancient one by the way not not a modern day anyway oh my god he's actually taking an arrow to the knee actually that's kind of the bollocks jesus christ man he really hit the snag there um <laughs> it's okay it's okay. But of course, if we were going to show off the true prowess of the Roman army, it wouldn't be complete without a full display of power. We have our horses here. Uh, Equites, of course, filling out the ranks. We've got some heavier lads at the back as well, some cataphracts. Look at them. They look so goddamn awesome. I think we actually have some horse archers on the other side, which would be interesting. But this is a true Roman battlefield. How awesome is this? Look at the Mexican wave of capes. God damn it. I love you guys. Yes, we have some Equites Sagittitiuses over here, and they are going to be doing some horse archer goodness. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delegate you all. Let's see what happens. Let's see what goes down. We're sending in our horse archers first. Our infantry are moving up. We've got our archers on the back line as well, and our cavalry have actually split into two. Looks like they're going to be defending each flank and doing their thing. Now, don't get me wrong. We have a powerful army, but we are fighting in Germanic lands here. We're fighting on their terrain, and they have just as good an army with cavalry archers and horsemen so they're going to be proving to be a bit of a threat let's follow our horse archers see how they fare i don't know how good these guys are of course they're not born bred horse archers the romans but as we go into various ages of the empire we're able to find some mercenaries and train our own kind of horse archers that will come and fight for us so that's sort of where we're going out with these equitus sagatitiuses okay so the germanic horsemen have scared off my horse archers the first infantry liner setting up a shield wall. Our guys are still just charging forward. They have been charged in the left flank by the Germans over here. So it looks like our cavalry is coming in, sort of clearing that up a little bit. Okay, good job. The AI is as good as Bannerlord AI has ever been. It's decent enough. And it kind of does do some cool formations. It looks like the main clash is coming in the infantry here. We're actually hitting them kind of side on. I hope they were able to get enough javelins and axes into the side. Look at this guy. He's at the back. He knows that he's about to get killed. He's probably a young boy that's just left his mother for the army, but at least he's being sensible about it. He's wearing a helmet as she always would have wanted. She has been since slaughtered by his commander for treason, but hey-ho, it is how it is. Oh, you're friendly. Let's not hurt you. So the clash in the middle is going strong. It looks like we've had some of our horses come in the back. They're doing a fantastic job there. So oh, let's... You're not supposed to be here. Some Germanic archers are getting torn down by our cavalry, but we're still doing a fantastic job of keeping that middle under control. It looks like we have actually started to win that. There's a few more Germanic infantry there trying to stay alive, but they're not going to be staying alive for too much longer. It looks like we're just clearing up the mess here, the rabble, the people that don't want to fight for what they believe in. We are invading your lands, guys. You should you should probably do something about us. We're getting a few more kills by our Sagittariuses at the back. 
but it looks like it is a victory for Rome. And there we have it, the end of Burning Empires. I'll be making more videos on this, so don't you guys worry. But this is the first and earliest version, so there's still a lot to be done. But until then, guys, I will see you in the next one.